I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is no impact. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gnome Impact just went down last weekend. A lot of people are talking about it and not in a good way. Not in a good way, bro. This is card has got a lot of bad feedback. A lot of bad feedback, bro. A lot of bad feedback. URL marketed this as the all-star game. You feel me? URL markets, it, markets caffeine in the app as where the stars are. It's where the battle rap stars live. This card was probably one of the weakest cards of the year, bro. Like, not even talking about expectations, because when everybody seen the card, people was calling the card dis disappointing. I called this card disgusting, you feel me? I did my predictions and called this a disgusting card, bro. These was makeshift tag teams. It's like, bro, this made no sense. Some of these battles had no storyline. It's like, bro, y'all just was a cheap money grab. This was a cheap money grab. And they was charging $50 for it on caffeine, $25 if you got the app. Bro, for a two-on-two. -two, for two-on-two -two cards, bro. This was not it, bro. This was not it. This was not it. I'm sorry, URL. This was not it. This was not it. And the only thing that could come to my mind is karma. That's the only thing I'm thinking about. Y'all was trying to sabotage easy card, the trenches. Y'all literally blocked Trufo, Danny, Swamp. Bill Collector, Prep, Holmesy. Y'all block six battlers from on that card. And then y'all get to your card, Gnome Impact, and it shits the bed. It literally shits the bed, bro. It shits the bed. That's embarrassing. I ain't gonna lie, URL. This shit was embarrassing. This shit was embarrassing. Now, I guess they had a surprise battle. Somebody with She Happens. I did not watch it. I did not watch it, bro. I had no interest in this battle, so I damn near wasn't about to rush home to watch a surprise battle. I'm not watching that, bro. First battle I seen was DNA and John John versus So Flair, So and Foots. I predicted a 30. Everybody predicted a 30. That's exactly what we got, a 30. The URL is trying very, very hard to push So Flair, So and Foots. Very, very hard, you feel me? I don't, I'm don't. i not going to say they're not good, but they're not there yet. They're not there yet, bro. They're not there yet. And they're literally trying to force them on people. Literally trying to force them on people. They did nothing to deserve this. If Gnome Impact is the all-star game, what the fuck did So Flair Soul and Foots do to deserve to be on the all-star game of Battle Rap? Nothing. If this is a superstar card, why the fuck are they up here? Come on, bro. This is not that. This is not that. Probably in six months or something, but not right now. Not right now. This is way too soon for them to be up here. John John and DNA 30, though. Next, we had Danny Myers and Miss Hussle versus Luke Castro and Jerry West. Um, ah, I ain't gonna lie. This battle was kind of very garbage to me. Very garbage to me. It had its moments, but it was very garbage to me. I gave it to Luke Castro and Jerry West. Um, controversially, though, after the battle, Miss Hussle put out a tweet saying that Danny Myers was hard to work with. You feel me? They couldn't find a nice schedule to work together. She did most of the work. Shit like that. Um, I thought Castro and Jerry West would be way better as a team. They both from New York. I thought they would be way better. Way better. I'm not saying their teamwork was off. But I felt like, I felt like their creativity should have helped each other a lot more. A lot more. I had them winning probably by a slight edge. I probably got to go back and watch it, but I'm probably a slight edge, slight edge, slight edge. That's another thing. I feel like none of these battles have replay value. None of these battles have replay value, bro. It's like the best battle on this card is probably going to get watched one time. Honestly, like these is not classic battles to keep going back to rewatch to me. Um, next, we had Hollow and Cal versus Shotgun Sugar and O'Red. The theme of this battle was O-Red did not belong there. You feel me? They did that in the face-off, and they did that on stage. Um, I don't know what it is, but whenever O-Red gets a big stage battle, he loses. His voice goes hoarse or whatever. He loses. You feel me? Another controversial thing. Hollow the Don said him and Calico took this battle with 38 days prep. 
or 30 days prep, excuse me. 30 days prep. That's not a good thing, you feel me? The URL keeps doing that. They book battles 30 days in advance. I don't know why. Y'all have your cards out. Y'all know when Summer Madness is going to happen. Y'all don't book Summer Madness a month in advance. You feel me? Y'all see niggas going back on Twitter for the last couple of months. Book the battles, bro. I feel like that's the URL problem. Like, they, the URL is fake not in the culture, bro. I feel like they don't really watch what's going on. They really don't watch what's going on. Swamp and Averb is a Summer Madness battle. That should be booked already now for Summer Madness. You feel me? Suge versus Hollow. That should be a Summer Madness battle. Calico Rum Diddy. That should be a Summer Madness battle. These battles should be booked already. Already. We shouldn't wait, wait till August 1st to start booking battles for Summer Madness. Come on, bro. I hate that. So I totally agree with Hollow on that. Totally agree with Hollow on that. Like, bro, I need to be great out here. And y'all giving me 30 days prep, bro. It's not enough time. That's nowhere near enough time. Um, I gave this battle to Hollow and Calico. Next, we had Swamp and T-Top versus Fonz and Av. Um, all of them was all of them is best friends, if we've been honest. I feel like T-Top and Av is real close. Swamp and um Fonz is real close, or probably is vice versa. But I feel like they all friends in some way. This wasn't a crazy war. This was not a crazy war. Um Honestly, I think like this is a preference battle too. This is a preference battle. If you like the punch lines, Avin, um, I was about to say Cleveland Av. Avin Fawns had, you're gonna go with them. T Top and Swamp was they was better than I expected. I'm not gonna lie. T Top and Swamp was better than I expected. I didn't think they was gonna be that crazy. Well, that good. You feel me? Cause of the history they really had, but they was really good. Do I want to see them as a tag team again? No. No, I don't want to see Swamp and T-Top as a team again, you feel me? T-Top and Briz, that's his team. If not, T-Top and Twerk, they made a good team. Swamp, we don't need to keep giving Swamp a different partner. Especially a nigga that's not his real mans. Like, give him Kid Chaos or none of one of these niggas. That's really, really cool. I feel like these is just niggas put hats in the name and picked them out. That was your team partner. That's what I feel like this card was, bro. Random ass tag teams. Prime example, the main event. Tay Rock and Geechee Gotti. What? Like, it's been the whole year of EFB versus gun titles. Now we get to Gnome Impact and we get EFB gun titles? What? That was stupid to me, bro. That was stupid to me. That was stupid. I did not like that. I did not like Easy. I mean, I did not like Rock and Geechee teaming up on this card. You feel me? They went up against Rum Nitty and Twerk. This was good battle. This was a good battle. This probably saved the card, you feel me? They probably saved the card with this. These is four great battlers, you feel me? Four great battlers, all-time battlers, all-time. Rock is a Mount Rushmore. Geechee's a Mount Rushmore. Rum Nitty could be a Mount Rushmore. New Jersey Twerk has the star power to be a Mount Rushmore. And the popularity and people liking him, you feel me? So I feel like this definitely saved the card. I gave this to Rock and Geechee 2-1, though. But, yeah, bro, this call was not that, bro. This was not that. This was not that. Gnome Impact was not that. I ain't gonna lie. Karma. Was it Karma? Was it Karma? Easy. Had his trenches called. URL literally tried to block damn near every battle. Every battle they tried to block. Then they get to their event, and everybody damn near shits the bed. Nobody was talking about no Impact in a positive light. After this weekend, respectfully. Niggas just talking about easy leaving gun titles. Niggas just talking about rocking chest fighting some fan. Niggas just talking about mad other shit except for the actual card. I don't know, URL. You got to come back strong, bro. You got to come back strong. And we being honest, the URL's probably been the, I don't want to say the most quiet, but they've been the least cared about. They've been the least cared about, bro. RBE just had a murder mook battle. Niggas was caring about the blue room, you feel me? Crow 23. They just had Hitman Holler versus Easy. Niggas is caring about that. Easy having his own battle league. Niggas is caring about that. You feel me? I fight the URL is definitely, you feel me? I'm not going to say losing its steam because they're still the number one. But I do fight the URL is not putting on the best cards. That's exactly how I'm going to put it. The URL is not putting on the best cards in battle rap no more. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Like. Comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at underscore, underscore, M-I-K-E-B-I-L-L-Z. 
I'll be back with more.